Hello, my name is Erin, and I'm the Public Re Relations Officer and the Auditorial Rep for the Southern Branch of the Irish Patchwork Society. In 2016, the Southern Branch of the Irish Patchwork Society is focusing on providing education for newer patchworkers. Um, we'd like to welcome you to the Parts of the Sewing Machine video. So, this is my uh, main sewing machine here. I have a Jugi TL2010Q sewing machine. Um, this is a straight stitch only machine. Um, only does straight stitches. I don't have a dial that would be uh, here on the right hand side that would be a stitch selector. So we'll start with this right hand side here. Um, up here, which is almost slightly cut off, um, you see this spool pin um, and the thread holder. This is uh, a cone of thread. Um, there is a, uh, a larger feed mechanism for the thread that goes um, up and then down to the sewing machine. Um, you may not have this extra piece of metal um, or your spool pin may be horizontal. <clears throat> you would have to look at your sewing machine's manual to find out what kind of spool pin that you have. Also on the right hand side here we have our bobbin winder. There is a thread tensioner right here for the bobbin winder. Um, read your sewing machi machine manual to see how um, you should thread your thread through uh, this tensioner in order to get a properly wound bobbin. We also have the hand wheel over here on the right hand side. Always turn that hand wheel towards you. Never turn it away from you. We also have the stitch length regulator here. Mine just rotates from side to side. Makes a large clicking noise. Yours may be digital. It just depends on how, uh, what machine you have. I also have a reverse lever here. I push it up and down. Uh, that helps me to back stitch when I need to. I also have um, the needle up down button. When you push that, it makes the needle go up and down. Um, a special feature of my machine here is the feed dog selector. Um, I can either have to choose to have the feed dogs up or down. If I'm free motion quilting, I would like them in the down position. And if I'm just doing some regular sewing, I have them in the up position. Also over here on the right hand side, I have the speed uh, regulator for my stitches. Uh, my Juki can do 1500 stitches per minute um, when it is all the way up like that or I can put it all the way down and it, it will go much much slower. <clears throat> also on the right hand side you have your power button and you have um, where the power cord and the foot pedal plug into as well. Moving on to the left hand side of the machine we have our thread guides here. You'll notice that my thread has been threaded through mach the machine. There's a thread guide and tensioner here. Um, there's a tensioner here. And then here's the main tensioner for the system that has the tension discs. Um, follow your machine's manual to find out how to thread your machine. It may be a little bit different than mine. I also have uh, more thread guides here. And I have the take-up lever here. The needle, of course, is down here. This is what does the work of the machine. I have a presser foot, and the, the lever for my presser foot is located in the back here, and it just lifts up and down. Um, you may also have noted a, a large metal piece um, in the front of, of the machine. I have um, a, a, a knee lift for my machine. Um, yours may not come with that. You'll see here, these are the feed dogs. We'll rotate so you can see the feed dogs move up and down. We also have the throat plate here. Uh, mine has some uh, some lines drawn on there to uh, show the millimeters and also the inch guides. It's it's an easy way to uh, feed your your fabric into the machine. <clears throat> Always be sure to double check. My quarter inch marking is not exactly a quarter inch on here. Um, and I usually have a piece of tape kind of guiding me of where it actually is. I also have a thread cutter here. And then my, uh, my needle threader is here. It's just this little button here that comes down and it, it threads the needle for me. And finally on my sewing machine, you'll notice that I have this little door here. That is how I access my bobbin. I go in there, there's a little lever that I pull out and then I pull out the bobbin case and then inside 
you have the bobbin. Again, read your manufacturer's uh, the sewing machine uh, manual for instructions on how to thread your bobbin into the bobbin case if you have one. And then mine goes back in just like so. And that are the basic parts of a sewing machine. So the final basic part of the sewing machine that we're going to talk about is this. This is the foot pedal. It normally lives on the floor, but it's up here to show you um, what it does. Basically, it's like the accelerator of, a, oops, accelerator of a caulker. You push down on it, it makes the needle go up and down. Uh, you push faster, you push down further, needle goes faster. Um, again, with the regulator that's on the machine, uh, that, that regulates the speed of the stitches. Uh, my foot pedal has an extra feature that will cut the thread by leaning on the, back, on the heel part of it. So this is the foot pedal, and again, it hooks up to the right side of the machine that you can see.